Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna conduct some bacteria testing on the walls of my bathroom to see, should we be flushing the toilet with the lid up or down? One of my Patreon members, Kayla, had DM'd me and we were going back and forth about cleaning the walls in the bathroom and how far does bacteria spread when you're flushing a toilet. I know there are a couple of videos out there that use like a black light to show like the spray of a toilet when being flushed, but I haven't found any that show whether or not there's actually bacteria growing on your walls or surfaces in your bathroom due to flushing the toilet with the lid up. So with this conversation with my Patreon member Kayla, we came up with a way to test how far the bacteria does spread when flushing a toilet or if there's even a difference between leaving the lid up and leaving the lid down. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start with a clean toilet. I'm gonna use a Clorox uh, cleaning wand to clean the toilet because the amount of cleaner is pre-measured out so there's no user error at all when I'm doing a test with the toilet lid up and the toilet lid down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the walls in my bathroom. I'm gonna use the seventh generation disinfecting wipes. Now I'm choosing to use these because these wipes performed very well in my bathroom when I conducted the test on it previously. I'll put a link in the description for that video. Then I'm gonna mark out various areas in my bathroom where I'm going to swab and see if bacteria is growing. So we'll do a swab right after cleaning. About a week later, making sure that everyone in my family flushes with the lid down. Then I'll clean the walls again using the seventh generation disinfecting wipes. Then instruct everyone in my family to flush with the toilet lid up for about a week swab those walls again and compare the bacterial growth between flushing with the toilet lid down and flushing with the toilet lid up. This one ought to be interesting. Let's see which is better for your bathroom, flushing with the lid up or flushing with the lid down. Results after cleaning the wall before we started any testing. So near the vanity and near the mirror, there was no bacteria growing on the walls. The wall with the toilet paper roll and above the towel rack, again, there's no bacteria growing. And behind the toilet and the wall next to the toilet has no bacteria growing. So this is great, this is exactly what we want. We want clean walls with no bacteria growing on them as we start this test. for flushing with the toilet lid down for one week. So near the vanity, we have no bacteria growth, but near the mirror, we have one small bacterial colony. 
The wall with the toilet paper had no bacteria growing. The wall above the towel rack had one bacterial colony growing. And behind the toilet and the wall next to the toilet both had no bacteria growing. So one week of flushing with the lid down produced just two spots with only had one bacterial colony growing. result for flushing with the lid down the second week. So near the vanity we had one bacterial colony growing, near the mirror we had no bacteria growing. The wall with the toilet paper had about six small bacterial colonies growing on it, and the wall above the towel rack had nothing. Behind the toilet we have one bacterial colony, and the wall next to the toilet had two bacterial colonies. So after two weeks of flushing with the toilet lid down, we have some bacterial growth on the walls. I don't believe that this is a significant amount. It's just one or two colonies here or there. The only one that stood out as having uh, more bacteria than the others was the wall where the toilet paper is. Now I'm going to clean the walls, resample the walls, and start the cycle again. But this time the family is going to flush with the toilet lid Now for the results after cleaning the walls before we started the second experiment. Near the vanity and near the mirror both have no bacteria growing. The wall with the toilet paper and above the towel rack also have no bacteria growth. And behind the toilet and the wall next to the toilet have no bacterial growth. So this is good. We're starting with the baseline of no bacteria on the walls as we start our testing flushing with the toilet lid up. Week one, flushing with the lid up, near the vanity and near the mirror, both have no bacteria growing. The wall by the toilet paper, as well as above the towel rack, both have no bacteria growing there. Behind the toilet had no bacteria growth. However, the wall next to the toilet had four small bacterial colonies. So after week one, with the lid up, the only wall that I sampled that had any bacterial growth was the wall next to the toilet. Results for flushing with the lid up, week two. 
So near the vanity, we have two bacterial colonies, and near the mirror, we had none. The wall above the toilet paper, we have three bacterial colonies. In the wall above the towel rack, we have one. The wall behind the toilet has two bacterial colonies, and the wall next to the toilet also has two bacterial colonies. So these really weren't the kind of results that I was expecting. I made a chart so we can look at all of the results together. What was really good is after cleaning, all of the samples had no bacterial growth. So that's a really good thing. So we know that we were starting fresh with nothing on the walls. The area in which we had the most bacterial growth was the wall that the toilet paper is on on week two of flushing with the lid down. But we did see on week two of flushing with the lid up, all but one of the areas had bacterial growth. In looking at these results, I do not see a huge difference among the bacterial growth between flushing with the lid up and flushing with the lid down. I do want to note that I only cleaned my toilet before the start of each experiment. I did not clean my toilet bowl during the weeks that I was testing. Is it possible that my toilet was just too clean and didn't spray out a lot of bacteria? Maybe, but I would think after two weeks of not cleaning the toilet bowl, there would be some bacteria floating around in there. Although these results are a little disappointing to me because I really expected to see a ton of bacterial growth on the weeks with the toilet lid being flushed up, I feel better knowing that I wasn't spraying my bathroom with tons of bacteria. I do feel it's best practice to flush with the toilet lid down because we have seen in other people's videos where they use the black light where you can see the spray of water um, being moved throughout a bathroom when you flush. This was an interesting experiment to conduct and thank you Kayla for suggesting that I do this. So what do you do in your home? Do you flush with the toilet lid up or down? Put in the comment section, I'd like to know. I enjoyed seeing how much bacteria was in the walls in the bathroom, but what I really love doing is testing products to see if their claims match my real world results. So check out my other videos if you're interested in seeing how well common household cleaners remove bacteria in various areas around the home. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, have yourselves a great day.